Brush Threepwood, how did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. I think a lot of classic adventure games, in particular the Monkey Islands, they, they really did tell these very interesting kind of interactive stories. And, and I think people who haven't really experienced them are really kind of missing out. You can't win if you don't play. Monkey Island really has lasted a long time in a way that we couldn't really have, have uh, expected or, or, or predicted. I'm not too powerful for you to kill your little moron. We were not zeroing in on the hardcore 18 to 34 year old male. We were just making it for everybody we knew, making them games that like our family could enjoy. What are you looking for, son? Need a bin for your next of kin? A lot of gamers, game journalists, critics, fans, consider Monkey Island 2 LeChuck's Revenge to be a LucasArts masterpiece. This kid looks like a serious contender. We put a lot of love into the first Monkey Island Special Edition, and we really wanted to do it right. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. It wasn't a remake, like a movie remake, where you changed all the puzzles and added guns and shooting. Phew. That was a close one. Monkey Island 2 Special Edition is the sequel to The Secret of Monkey Island. And Monkey Island 2 is arguably the best game in the series. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No. Bigger than that. A beard? Guybrush is going to take it to the next level and try to find this incredible legendary treasure. You mean Big Whoop? Big Whoop. I'm off to find Big Whoop. At first glance, it's easy to underestimate how big Monkey Island 2 is. It's five times the size. I admit my tastes run expensive. Expansive is more like it. It had more puzzles, it had more dialogue, it had more music, it had more locations, better backgrounds, better art, it had more characters that were more fully fleshed out. I see you have an eye for quality. For the special edition, we added all the same signature features from the first game. High definition art, remastered music, voice acting, hints, you name it, we threw it in there. What? That again? Is that the best you can do? For the sequel, we went bigger. We added direct control, so now I can move the character around versus pointing and clicking. Try and catch me, old man. Oops. For the new player, you can press a button and objects will highlight in the scene, so it gives you a little bit of guidance. Hey, how don't Pegbiter get loose? And as a bonus feature, we put a lot of the original art from the archives that was used to make the game. Do you have anything else to report? Uh, no. Well... There is one other small little thing. <laughs> Why does that happen, Ron? Ron Why do his pants pull that? See, the problem is you're trying to justify it too much. <sighs> it's just funny. Just roll with it. One of the most compelling features we've added is developer commentary. Why can't you people just leave a retired pirate in peace? You know, looking back 20 years on it, making those games is just a heck of a lot of fun. And I think some of the things that make Monkey Island so special are because we could just sit there and riff all day long on stuff. I think that could have been a really deep moment. His pants fell for a reason. Mm -hmm. For example, Gravity. he was digging up. Oh, you win. It's hilarious. <laughs> Playing the special edition, it was fun trying to remember the puzzles because a lot of it was really clear. Like I remembered every pixel in the art sometimes because um, I remember staring at it for so long while we were fixing bugs. That scene where you catch the rat and you throw it in the soup. Good thing this is a cold soup. And you get that guy fired and basically ruin his life because you want something. Get out of my sight! Is like the example of, of Guybrush's personality. What's your sign? No trespassing. This is Dominic Armato back as Guybrush Threepwood for Monkey Island 2 Special Edition. This is take one. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? But if a woodchuck could chuck, it would chuck some amount of wood. What about a woodchuck chuck? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. <laughs> Show off. Hey, you asked for it. <laughs> That's awesome. Once again, Dominic knows these games so well, and he has thought about how he wants to deliver these lines for years. Guybrush is, you know, going to the spitting contest, and he has to spit as far as he can. <laughs> hey, he's been working out! If you know what to do, you can actually make Guybrush die in Monkey Island 2. He actually gets boiled in acid, which is a lot of fun to record. <laughs> any alcohol in it, but it's just as foul-tasting as that stuff grown-ups drink. 
From a music standpoint, Monkey Island 2 feels like it takes place all over the place. It's just gigantic. That's awesome. We've got Dixieland, jazz, classical. It feels a lot more orchestral. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? The biggest thing we had to figure out was the original game included this interactive music system called iMuse. Depending on where you were in the song, it would seamlessly transition into a variation specific to each location. And then as soon as you walked out again, it would seamlessly transition back. It's extremely difficult to do with digital audio. And we've been pulling out every trick in the book to recreate it, and we're there. Ash to life, the uncremating cream. Brings the dead back to life. With this game now being the 20th anniversary of Monkey Island, whether you're a new fan or an old fan, there's nostalgic fun for people that played it 20 years ago, and I think people are going to enjoy it today. Either way, you came to the right place. You can tell their labors of love, you know, that they're really cared for. I supposed to say how good-looking Guy Versus hair is looking. Good call on the hair. I like the new hair. Hair. You'll have to try to restrain yourself. We preserve the game in the way that everyone knows it and loves it. Snuggle puss, get lost. Punky doodle, I'm wanting you. Pooper duper. Maybe I should go right to back forty. And of course, at any time, if you want, you can just push a button and go right back to the original game. Name your poison. Even though it's getting the graphical facelift, it's getting the voice and all that. It's got to be faithful to the original. It's got to be authentic. It has to be a Monkey Island game. Ah, the ghost pirate Machuck. Get a grip. Don't you know a Mardi Gras costume when you see one? If a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, what color is the tree? Blue? Nope. Forest green? Nah. Red? Nope. Cyan? Nope. Lavender? Nah. Magenta? Not exactly. Aquamarine? Not even close.